Hello, and welcome to another edition of Ask Ben W, the video series where I get to tackle exactly one question as I walk from my parked car to my office in Denver Public Schools. Today's question is courtesy of a conversation that I had with um, a colleague from Aurora Public Schools uh, who was talking about um, computer church, uh, which is essentially the idea of uh, kids going to the computer lab or to uh, access computers and uh, it's like the the church of computer that you're going to um, and staring at screens or um, you know playing a playing an educational game that maybe is not quite so educational um, but the, you're going there and it's an event and then you go back and you don't do anything with it uh, you know you go back to your regular classroom and you don't have access to the the same things that that you would have at, at computer church and I found that metaphor to be really compelling um, and immediately it, it started me thinking about um, Digital Learning Day and how a lot of the things that we share at Digital Learning Day are actually very much about just staring at computer screens or going to a place and having access to the computers there. But the question that I would like to ask is this. How do we stop encouraging folks to create computer churches? And how do we, um, especially with the lens of the Digital Educator and Personalized Learning Academy, how is it that we might encourage those, um, those folks uh, to not set up special places for um, computer access and, and for the use of technology, but rather to embed that into their everyday? And so, can we um, not set up the Digital Educator and Personalized Learning Academy as a computer church where you come and you experience technology and you have it modeled and then you go about your business and it doesn't change anything? That to me is a really compelling uh, um, question and one that we should probably be asking and answering for ourselves. Um, I think the biggest thing that you can do in those professional learning spaces, at least, is to uh, specifically ask for people to, um, to talk about the way in which they're transferring their knowledge, talk about the ways in which it is connected from one thing to the next, and to um, really not ever say that this is an isolated practice or this is something that we shouldn't be focused on, uh, you know, like outside of this moment, right? Like it's not isolated to this professional learning experience. It is connected to the classroom and the ways in which kids can have access. And I think that we don't always do a great job of of talking about the parallel practice of this is how teachers can learn, this is how students can learn, and that they're similar in many, many ways and can be using the same devices or the, the same uh, resources. Um, I'm reminded of one of the other uh, planners uh, for DEPLA, uh, Peter Douglas, who was talking about how smart boards or, or Promethean boards or interactive whiteboards are not student devices. Specifically, they are not devices that students have in their homes or that they have access to outside of the school day. And so to make it about those devices rather than getting things that students actually do have access to um, can be really, really valuable. And so how do we not emphasize those devices and those tools that are only about teachers having access? How do we emphasize the tools and resources and even spaces that both teachers and students can, that they can both be within? And so, you know, I, I think a lot about uh, those online learning spaces that are communities of practice. I think a lot about those tools, uh, let's say, like a um, even something like a Nearpod, where it is a presentation tool, much like a, uh, 
you know, much like a, a Promethean board is, but that actually it's the interaction between the people, between the parent or between the teacher and the student that actually makes it useful, right? Um, thinking about Google Classroom, um, they just added a polling feature yesterday, right? That they are emphasizing the way in which data and conversations are shared between students and that are shared between the student and the teacher or the teacher and the students. This is a, a two-way conversation and to me that's the way you solve for the computer church phenomenon. So that the professional learning experience is both not a computer church in and of itself, right, where we're going and it doesn't have transfer and applicability to the classroom but also that we are not encouraging the computer churchification of our school, schools. Um, so anyway, I thought that was a useful metaphor, um, and I think that uh, there's a lot of value in the, the ways in which we create structures um, for, uh, for our learning, um, the way in which we create uh, opportunities for one another to engage. So, if you would like to respond to that idea, please do leave a, a comment uh, on this video. Or if you'd like to ask your own question, uh, please do so with the hashtag AskBenW. Uh, and I'd love to answer it on another one of my walks to school. Um, I hope you have a great day of learning.